Live Mass on Air is possibly made by Mr. Wilson Chua and family of Bitstop Network Services Incorporated for their generosity through a radioportal.com and for the intention of our sick brothers and sisters and to all Filipinos. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa lahat. Magandang umaga, Father. Welcome dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. To prepare ourselves to celebrate worthily this Mass, we first pause for a while. We call to mind our unworthiness. We ask the Lord for His mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets. We spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the peoples of the land. Justice, O Lord, is in your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the con countries to which you have scattered them, because of their treachery toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, and our fathers for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord, our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us to your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to die. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Please stand. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful just as your Father 
is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure packed together, shaken down and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sing lahat at welcome dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Sa kapanahunan ng ating Panginoong Sesus, sa lipunan na kanyang kinalakihan, naging bahagi na ng kanilang kultura ang pagbigay importansya sa kalinisan at kaayusan. Ang mga turo ng kanilang mga religious leaders, mga pariseyo, mga eskriba, nakasentro no, sa pagsunod sa mga batas ni Moses, sa mga utos ni Moses, at naging kampanya nila sa pagsunod sa batas ni Moses ang maging maayos, ang maging malinis. Ang tao na hindi maayos, ang tao na hindi malinis, no, ay mga taong tinuturing nilang second class citizen, ang mga taong walang puwang sa lipunan. At sino yung mga taong malilinis? Sino yung mga taong, uh, sabihin na lang natin, uh, palaging nag observe ng kanilang batas? Sa kapanahonan ng ating Panginoon, mayroong tinatawag na mga lugar na kung saan malinis at mga lugar na marumi. Ang lugar na marinis ay templo. Isa sa mga lugar na marumi ay ang marketplace, ang palengke. Kapag ikaw ay pumuntang palengke na milika, therefore naging marumi ka, dapat ay magkaroon ng washing. Kapag hindi ka naghugas at ikaw ay kumain, nagiging marumi ka. No? Kapag ikaw ay lumabag sa law of the Sabbath, meron kang ginawang mabibigat sa araw ng Sabbath, nagkakasala ka at ikaw sa iyong pagkakasala, nagiging marumi ka. Ang babae, kapag ang babae ay dinudugo at ang dugo ay isang maruming bagay sa kanilang kapanahonan, ikaw ay marumi. Kung kaya ang babae ay second class citizen. No? At uh, sa kapanahonan ng ating Panginoon, kapag ikaw ay may sakit, ang turing din sa iyo ay marumi. Hindi maayos ang iyong buhay. At kadalasan kapag ikaw ay nagkakasala, no? dahilan sa ikaw ay hindi malinis, minsan depende kapag mabigat ang kasalanan, dapat binabato ka hanggang ikaw ay mamatay. O kaya may mga instances kung saan pinapalayas sila kapag sila'y sinasapian ng masamang espiritu, pinapalayas sa kanilang mga lugar. Ang naging kawawa sa lipunan ng ating Panginoon, ang mga taong ginajudge nila na marumi. Ang mga may sakit, ang mga makasalanan, no? ang mga... Uh, taong lumabag sa batas at ang turing nila dito maaring sasabihing kriminal hindi pinapahalagahan sa lipunan pero nung dumating ang ating Panginoon yamang siya ay tagapagligtas yamang siya ay isang redeemer bahagi ng misyon ng ating Panginoon ay ang kaligtasan na mga taong ang turing ay marumi sa lipunan sino nga ba ang higit ang higit na nangangailangan ng kaligtasan, di po ba yung mga makasalanan? Sino ba ang higit na nangangailangan ng kalusugan? Di po ba yung may mga kapansanan, yung mga may sakit? Ang misyon ng ating Panginoon ng paghatid, ng pagmamahal, kalinga at presensya ng Diyos sa mga tao ay ang paghatid ng kapatawaran, ng awa, ng habag sa mga taong ang turing ng lipunan ay salot. Ang turing ng lipunan ay walang silbi. Ilan nga ba sa mga may sala sa mga sinapian ng demonyo, 
ang niligtas ng ating Panginoon. Isa na doon si Maria Magdalena, hindi lang isang beses na kasala, hindi lang marumi no, sapagkat siya ay babaeng mababa ang lipad, pitong demonyo ang sumapi sa kanyang buhay, may mga taong gusto siyang batuhin. Pero binigyan siya ng Panginoon ng pagkataong magbago. No? Naging santa si Maria Magdalena sapagkat nung mga panahong binigyan siya ng Panginoon ng pagbabago, in-embrace niya ito. Nagbago, sumunod sa yapak ng ating Panginoon, naging mabuting halimbawa. Sa ating Ebanghelyo, sa unang linya pa lamang, sinabi ni Jesus, Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Ang binibigyan dito diin ay ang habag at awa ng Diyos. At sino muli ang higit na nangangailangan ng habag at awa ng Diyos? Ang mga taong ang turing ng lipunan ay walang silbi. Ang turing ng lipunan ay marumi. Ang turing sa lip- ng lipunan ay salot. Be merciful sapagkat bilang mga Kristiyano meron tayong kakayahan na sa pamamagitan ng ating pag-unawa, ng ating habag, ng ating awa, ay maaring nabibigyan natin sila hindi lamang ng pagkataon, kundi ng tulong na makapagsimula muli. Yung merciful dito, hindi lang basta awa at habag. It's more of compassion. Kapag ikaw yung taong compassionate, hindi ka lang nagbibigay ng pera no, sa isang namamalimos. Minsan, naluloko na nga, para nga tayo, maraming namamalimos, eh, mayayama naman. Pero ang tunay na compassionate, yung may habag sapagkat ang taong ito ay api ng lipunan. Inaapakan ng lipunan. Na kahit man makasalanan, sinabi din ng ating Panginoon, Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Sapagkat yung mga measure na ginagawa natin sa ating kapwa, eventually, at the end of time, will be the measure that will be accorded to us. Muli, ang compassion na hinihingi ng ating Panginoon ay nagbibigay buhay, nagbibigay lakas, nagbibigay pagkataon sa mga tao upang bilang anak ng Diyos na nagkamali at nagkasala, manumbalik ang kanyang dignidad bilang anak ng Diyos. Anong sa palagay ninyo? Bakit maraming mga criminals na buhay pa? ba diba, kung gusto ng Diyos na nawala na sila sa mundong ito, ang Diyos na mismo ang gagawa ng paraan no? upang sila ay mawala. Sapagkat Diyos lamang ang may karapatan na bawiin ang buhay na kanyang pinagkaloob sa atin. Ang obligasyon natin to extend, to show mercy and compassion. Hindi lamang habag at awa, kundi ang pamamaraan na tayo'y makatulong na yung isang taong hopeless ay magkaroon ng tunay na pagbabago at ang maging asset, no, maging fruitful sa mundong ito na kinagagalawan natin. Nakakalungkot ang panawagan nato ng ating Panginoon. Marami sa ating mambabatas at marami sa ating mga kabataan sa ating kapanahonan ay nagbubulag-bulagan nat bibingi-bingihan. Sa social media, ang daming hindi lamang bashing, no? kundi cruel judgment. Hinahatula natin yung tao na minsan inusente, pero sapagkat nakikiisa tayo upang idiin ang tao at apakan, akala natin mas nakakaangat tayo sa ating pag mga judgment sa paninira, mas masahol tayo sa inaakala nating masahol no? sapagkat baka sa mata ng Diyos sinisiraan lamang ang taong ito at nakikiisa tayo sa paninira. Sa mata ng Diyos, mas maraming ginawang mabuti ang taong ito kisa sa atin na nagpapakahipokrito na nasabing mas mabuti tayo. Sinabi dito, stop condemning and you will not be condemned. 
sa mga taong kinamumuhian natin, mas mainam na pinagdarasal natin. In that way, we are showing mercy to that person na sana ang kanyang pamamaraan ay mabago na kapag sila'y nabigyan ng kapangyarihan, magamit nila ang kanilang kapangyarihan, hindi upang apakan ang kapwa, hindi upang to lord over, kundi ang kapangyarihan to serve. At ang kanilang puso ay magkaroon din ng habag at awa, especially sa mga taong walang-wala, sa mga taong itsapwera, sa mga taong ang, tu- ang tanging pag-asa, no? ay ang ating pagkalingat, pagmamahal, sapagkat naging instrumento tayo ng kalinga at pagmamahal ng Diyos. Be merciful as your Father is merciful, for the measure with which you measure will in turn be measured out to you. Tumayo tayo ngayon, ihayag natin ang ating mga pangangailangan. Let us pray to God who is kind and merciful, who heals and pardons all our sins. Let our response be, Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That the church may fulfill her ministry of healing and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That government officials may show care and concern for the poor and the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That we may be able to see our own faults and refrain from passing judgment on the failures of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That the sick, the lonely, and the handicapped may find strength and healing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That our departed relatives and friends may find peace and joy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. We include in our prayers the intentions of those people who are asking for our prayers for the intentions of those people whom we promise to pray for, we pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. We pause for a while in the silence of our hearts. We lift to the Lord our own personal and particular intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. Merciful Father, these prayers and intentions we bring before you express our needs and our hopes. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, For through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
Accept in your goodness these our prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from the disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the, the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Peace be You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, Elmer, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her holy spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, if you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Be merciful as your Father is merciful says the Lord. For you who are listening to this radio and watching through the internet, the live broadcast of this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass being celebrated in this Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may I invite you to pray with me this spiritual communion in the act of charity. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Prayer for an act of charity. O oh my God, I love you above all things with all my heart and soul because you're all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Ito po ay isang palala ng Radyo Manawag. Minamahal namin mga kapatid, kami po ay taos pusong nagpapasalamat sa patuloy niyong pagtangkilik sa Radyo Manawag. Ngayon po ang misang ito ay para sa mga may sakit at lalong-lalo na yung hindi makapunta sa simbahan dahil sa kanilang karamdaman at kapansanan, pagamat pilay at hindi sila makalakad dahil sila nasa higaan. Pero ang misang ito ay para sa lahat din po. Ngalang, Mahalaga po na tayong walang sakit, walang karamdaman, makinig tayo, pero kinakailangan po na pumunta pa rin tayo sa simbahan mismo parang tayo ay maka physically makapag-participate. Kayong po na mga may sakit, kung gusto po ninyo magkumunyon, lapitan lang po ninyo ang parokya, ang parish priest, at the same time ang parokya ng manawag, 
parang humingi kayo ng komunyon at kayo bibigyan ng komunyon sa inyong mga tahanan. Maraming salamat po sa pamagitan ng radyo ito. Kami po ay nakakapaglingkod sa inyo. God bless us all. Jesus, Good Shepherd, you have just fed us with your body and blood. As you rest in our hearts, listen too to the fears and anxieties we carry. Let our response be. Send holy vocations to our seminary. Hatred, violence, and oppression have wounded us. Send us courageous priests and seminarians to be heralds of truth, justice, and grace. Let us pray. Send holy vocations to our seminary. Misery, poverty, and distress afflict so many. Send us generous priests and seminarians to set your people free from the shackles of sin. Let us pray. Send holy vocations to our seminary. Fear, discouragement, and restlessness trouble multitudes. Send us priests and seminarians who can show your face of hope for the world. Let us pray. Send holy vocations to our seminary. Doubts, distrust, and reluctance prevent our youth from deciding to follow you. Set the hearts of our youth on fire to follow you. Let us pray. Send holy vocations to our seminary. Impurity, selfishness, and pleasure-seeking blind our souls. Bless our youth with pure hearts to see your face and seek holiness. We, let us pray. Send holy vocations to our seminary. God our Father, look upon your church in Lingay and Dagupan, celebrating the year of the parish and preparing to celebrate our second synod this September. Send us holy vocations to set your people free and spread the fire of your love to all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. Please stand. Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us of wrongdoing and make us ears to the joy of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. The Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 3, 2017, third Wednesday of Easter season. Novena Masses will begin on April 24, every hour from 5 a.m. to 12 noon. There will also be a Novena Mass at 4 in the afternoon. We invite you to participate in the said Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may approach the personnel at the religious store, at the ground floor, or at the museum. Novena Masses will be aired over Radio Dominico ng Manawag, 102.5 FM. For live streaming, you may also search for Radio Dominico in the internet. The Novena Booklet in honor of Our Lady of Manawag is now available at the religious stores. You may now buy your copy of the revised edition in English. Every Friday throughout this Lenten season, there will be a Way of the Cross at 4 p.m. to be followed by the Mass. You are all invited. Another important announcement. In line with the upcoming observance of the Holy Week and the celebration of Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we would like to inform you that the parking area inside the Basilica will be closed starting March 15, 2017. This is to make way for the preparation, maintenance, and improvement of the Basilica. We apologize for the inconvenience. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. 
Confirm the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, we pray, and strengthen them by the power of your grace, that they may be constant in making supplication to you and sincere in love for one another through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit Amen. come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Be blessed tayo ng mga may sakit nating kapatid at magbe-bless tayo ng religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Para sa pagbabasbas ninyong religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your rosary, scandals, images of our Lord, images of our Lady, of the Holy Family, prayer booklets, scapulars, estampitas, and all other religious items and articles, be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Immaculate Mother, we come at thy call and low at thy altar before thee we fall. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, in grief and temptation, in joy and Seek thee, our mother, nor seek thee in vain. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave. Maraming salamat po. Magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat.